Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are looking at the easy A for this transforming AGL Goku that just dropped on Global and JP in the 350 million download celebration. Uh, mine is rainbowed. He is not full level 10 links, but he's getting there. Like he's he's got higher muscle links, so he should be looking pretty good here. Um, the thing that's crazy with this Goku and Frieza's easy A, like look how high his stats are. <laughs> 21 over 21,000 attack. That's like LR stats. So. This Goku and Frieza, they're they're just wild and crazy, right? So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at Goku's passive. Uh, then we'll look at my team build, and then we'll jump right into the showcase. So uh, he raises attack and defense on super attack infinitely, causes immense damage, and lowers defense, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, here's his passive. Now, I'm probably only going to go through this main passive for this form and then the last form. Basically, the other forms just kind of change in between, right? Like make subtle changes. So... He's attack and defense 110% at the start of turn. He gets 3 key, an additional 10%, and defense 40% when attacking extreme class enemies. He reduces damage by 21%, and then he transforms every turn, basically. What's going to happen is his attack and defense is going to go up 10% every turn. So he's going to build up to his final form, adding 10% each time. And then his middle passive of attack 10% and defense 40 Basically, the attack is going to steal 10% from the defense every turn. So the second turn is going to be 20% attack, 30% defense, uh, then 30% attack, 20% uh, defense, until basically the defense runs out and he's only 50% attack. So that's what's going to happen in between until his final form looks like this, where he's attacking defense 150%, 3 key and additional 50% attack when attacking extreme class enemies, uh, reduces damage received by 25%. Um, he gets key 12 when performing a critical hit once only. Okay, so that's basically uh, his passive there. So if we look at my equips and everything, so I have him at 14 additional 19 crit. Realistically, this was me. I kind of built him a long time ago, um, but I would probably lean heavier additional because he is a stacking unit. The thing that I forgot to mention too with the super attack effect here. Um, he raises attack and defense for one turn on his final form, but all of the forms up to that he does infinitely stack. So you want to get in as many attacks as you can before he gets to this final form to get a really, really nice big stack on that defense. And then what's crazy about him is that he has 25% damage reduction, right? So what we're going to find with the Goku as compared to the Frieza, the Frieza is way better like link-wise. But the Goku has that damage reduction, which is really huge. So we're going to kind of see how that plays in. So let's go ahead and check out my team build here. So the team build I'm running is a Kamehameha team. This is not, by the way, an ideal build by any means. Um, this is a showcase build. <laughs> so we're basically just trying to show him off with as many links as we can. Now, one of the flaws with this Goku that I mentioned is his links actually change quite a bit between certain forms. I would say Super Saiyan 1 and 2 are fairly similar. Super Saiyan 3 kind of adds a, a few different ones. He can still link okay with the same units though that he was in the first forms. But then when he goes to God, it like changes very drastically. So then he goes God and Blue. So we're bringing two linking partners for him. So the first link, linking partner is this guy. This guy is going to link really well with him early on. Uh, usually five or six links through the first three phases. Um, and then when he gets to God form, we got to go in and link to this guy to get more of the links active. So this guy, he absolutely needs an easy A. He's not good. Like, don't run him, please. <laughs> but we're just bringing him for link for links. And I guess the idea of a showcase is we want to show what a unit looks like in his best or better scenarios. So we want to get good linking partners because at some point this guy will easy A and he will be a legitimate option to run. So it's not a bad idea to run units like this for a showcase. So just so you can see the potential with more links active. Uh, we're going to run this Roshi as a really nice support. We're going to run this guy as a support. And then um, the uh, Gohans are going to be floating around. Uh, this guy will probably be floating around. I don't know. I'll probably do a rotation with like Gohan. And I don't know. I might just put both the Gohans on rotation. Because I want to maybe keep this guy floating around. Um, just so that eventually he'll pop up on the turn I need him. So that's basically the team build there. So let's go ahead and hop back into the event. All right, so we are going to run into um, Infinite Dragon Ball History here just so I can get a nice stage with all extreme enemies. Um, this will be great so we can get like the full idea of what his passive is going to do, right? So let's look at Goku. We got him turn one linked up with his good partner with support. So this is like the most ideal turn one you can get basically, right? So here he is at 150k defense. And keep in mind, he's got 21% damage reduction and it's going to go up to 25%. 20 something percent damage reduction isn't crazy but when you have a bunch of defense on top of it 
it's absolutely huge. It basically means this guy's never going to take damage from normals, like, no matter what. Um, and he's going to be very good defensively against super attacks, especially once he's stacked up a little bit. So that's his turn one stats, which is not bad considering we've got that damage reduction. And here we are, um, pretty much full links, right? Six out of seven uh, with our physical Gogeta LR here. I, it, To me, guys, it's going to be really exciting when the physical uh, Gogeta and Int uh, Vegito, the year three LRs, when they EZA, it's going to be really exciting because they link really well with a lot of units and they're on a ton of teams. So that'll be quite exciting. All right, let's see what we got turn one here. I know some of these androids are going to absorb key attacks, which is fine. I don't really care how long we're in here. So yeah, four, 4 mil turn 1 for this Goku is absolutely fantastic. And by the way, it doesn't matter that that attack got absorbed. Um, he's still stacking defense. So having the absorption actually can be a good thing for us here. Um, so that we can kind of just keep testing this guy out and letting him stack a little bit, right? As long as we have at least one physical attacker, um, it's going to be bad if we actually don't have enough to actually kill this guy. I mean, if we don't, that's fine. We can just stack on the stage and just play with him a while, right? It's just a showcase. Um, this is going to seem like an odd choice, but I'm going to leave the two Gohans on rotation just because I want to keep my supports floating and I'm going to keep that god Goku floating around. So I know these Gohans aren't going to link, but it, it's not, not a huge deal, right? We're not like trying to take down the event really fast or anything. And it can actually help us stall out a little bit just to get some more stacks with Goku. So I'm totally fine with that. But I'm going to tell you right now, just looking at his turn one, guys, hitting 4 mil, 150k defense and 20% damage reduction, 21% technically, like that is fantastic considering he hasn't transformed, he hasn't stacked, none of that. Compared to what this unit was, like this Goku, he basically was dead on arrival. Like I never used him from the day he came out. He was just really cool and exciting because it was this first like five turn transformation thing. But he would hit like just over a mil, maybe two mil if he was lucky. His defense was just okay. Like he never was like that great of a unit and he was competing with so many other good Gokus. Now he's actually like a really good legit option to run. Um, I'm going to see in slot two. No, we don't get all seven there. No, we don't get all in the family. All right, so we'll just leave him in slot one. Um, and yeah, if this, you know, Android 19 just wants to live forever, that's fine with me. Uh, let's check his defense here. So this is turn two after one stack. So yeah, 157k defense. So uh, definitely nice there. And then we'll just attack here. And yeah, if we never get past this first round, I'm actually okay with that. Because <laughs> all we're doing is we're testing him out. So there is at 3.83. So the reason why the defense didn't shoot up like crazy and the reason why his attack was actually lower there, that has to do with the support. So we didn't have support on that turn and that's why. So um, don't feel like, oh my gosh, he's not impressive or he's not stacking. The fact that his defense actually went up that much while losing 40% support, that was actually quite impressive. So just wait till these supports start rolling back around again. And you'll definitely see this Goku looking really good. And if you're running him on like a more normal traditional team build, you are going to have like supports floating around a lot more often, right? All right, here we are with the nice no link rotation. Uh, technically, the Roshi and Gohan do link. They just, the legendary power doesn't trigger unless they get a 12 key super at least, right? All right, so we'll just kind of get through this turn here. Um, but yeah, uh, this is pretty exciting for part two because they just dropped like so much content and I'm just trying to record all these videos and everything and it's it's just so much fun. Like, I'm so used to the days of Dokkan, like dropping stuff at the beginning of a celebration and then just leaving us in this dry desert for like a month of like no content. I feel like this celebration, they have done a fantastic job of pacing the content where they're giving us like a really nice chunk of stuff to do with each part. Um, all right, so let's see what we got here. Now we're Super Saiyan 3, right? So basically the next time God Goku rolls around, we're actually going to keep him on rotation and then we're going to swap the physical Gogeta off. And here we are, 200k defense. Now that we've got support floating around again, right? Our links dropped a little bit. We're only four out of seven links. Uh, we might get more in the middle though. Nope, we don't. So we'll just leave him in the front. Um, luckily I did bring key items. What I might do actually though... Let's see. I think I'm going to do this. I'm just going to miss the super attack there. Yeah, and then we dropped enough. Because if I can save the items just in case. And this is the other thing with the Goku. Since his links are so wacky, he can struggle for key if you're not linked up properly or don't have proper support. But here we are, 4.6, almost 5 mil. Um, this is his first attack in Super Saiyan 3. There's the additional at 4.7. Absolutely fantastic. He's already pushing a 5 mil attack stat with all that defense and all that damage reduction, right? So yeah, the the Tech Freeze is definitely putting up better attack numbers. 
A lot of that, though, is coming from his excellent Link set and the fact that he's got big bad bosses, right? This Goku, for what he is, the way they built him as a more defensive unit, I think is actually really, really good. And I'm okay with him hitting maybe a little bit lighter than the Frieza. It's kind of crazy that we've gotten to the point... Oh, sorry, I gotta keep this guy floating. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of crazy that we've gotten to the point, though, where, like, a 3 mil attack stat doesn't seem impressive anymore, right? Because it feels like it was not that long ago where, like, if you had a free-to-play unit that could hit over a mil, that was, like, good. It was like, oh, yeah, that's one mil for a totally free unit. That's great. Now we got, like, Master Roshi stomping around at, like, 5 mil attack stats, right? Uh, so long to those old free-to-play units. Th the game... I think what it was, was the game just kind of had a long period where it was very stagnant, right? Where, like, units all came up with similar passives. They weren't really, like, getting much stronger. Like, back in the day, like, new units, what made them exciting was they had, like, different categories. And you could run them on, like, different teams. But it wasn't like they were dramatically better than other units in the game. Now they've hit a definite, like, period of, like, constant power creep. And everything's constantly getting stronger. Um, and it actually makes the game quite exciting. And it's making these EZAs quite good. Okay, so now the linking's not going to be good, as good here. See, this is this is the problem. We dr we go to God Goku with our really nice link buddy, and all of a sudden it's like not good. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to leave him on rotation with Roshi actually, um, so that Roshi can hang along with him, and then the next time he comes up, we're going to have like our really good rotation, right? So God Goku here is at 289k defense, so we're approaching 300k defense with like what 24% damage reduction. Uh, that's pretty darn fantastic, if you ask me. Like, he, this guy's not getting touched. Now, unfortunately, <laughs> my team hasn't really been bu built to get past this uh, key absorption. But, actually, this god Goku might be a physical attack. Uh, let me check that really quick. Yes, he is. So, if my god Goku here can one-shot, we might actually get out of this phase. Which is fine, right? And we can move on to see some other enemies. It would be nice to actually, like, take some hits to see the defense in action but you know you guys have seen probably so many showcases you've played the game long enough it's basically a matter of like knowing what defense stats you need and what damage reduction you need right all right we finally got past them the god goku cleared them out okay although this guy absorbs too so this guy could hang around a while too um, but i'm pretty sure the last phase is also physical so he'll be able to one shot also all right so we're going to leave the gohans up together we'll just let the gohans attack through here I probably should be thinking about my key a little bit so that I have a nice setup. So we, we should have a nice path there in the middle uh, for the next turn. So I don't know, guys. Dokkan just has been, in general, doing really, really well. Um, the point I was getting to earlier about this celebration being so good, if you remember last year's Worldwide Celebration, they dumped a bunch of content in like the in like the pre-celebration. And then when the celebration dropped, it was like just the banners and there was like nothing. And it was so disappointing, because it's like, okay, you summon for some units, and you awaken them, and then there was, like, nothing else to do. So I think Dokkan has definitely gotten the hint, and, like, they're understanding way better, like, what we as a player base want for content, and how to, like, structure their events a lot better, right? Um, so here we go. This is the god rotation I want. Um, and here we are looking, yeah, 6 out of 7 links. One again, all in the family is the only one that we're missing. You can see I'm fairly highly link leveled. Uh, our defense is at 346k so here's what's going to happen guys he's got 25 percent damage reduction 346k defense he gets more defense on super so he's probably going to be 400k plus after supering uh it's gonna be pretty hard to hurt this guy even like the um grade 8 goku and the gt goku event i think this goku's well especially with type advantage this goku's not even getting touched by that guy right so this is absolutely great here so let's see this is pretty much going to be like our best attack stat because we can't stack anymore, right? So we're pretty much stacked as much as we could up to this point. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, 6.5 mil. Now we're getting up into like the big daddy numbers, right? But I can't stress enough, we've got the defense and the damage reduction. Absolutely ridiculous. All right, now that we're fully transformed and these androids aren't absorbing, let's just, maybe we'll just go a little bit longer. Let's see how quickly we can polish through. Maybe we can get Goku uh, getting hit with some super attacks. All right, I can actually leave this guy on with Gohan now, and they actually link ridiculously well. That's why I'm saying, when this physical Gogeta EZAs, he links so well with so many years. Like, he links well with the new Int Goku. Uh, he links well with this Gohan. He links well with transforming Goku. Like, 
these units, they're just like very good generic like Super Saiyan Link partners and there's kind of like this little group of them and they all just like link so well with so many units. So that's part of what makes this Gohan so good is are his links, right? Because if you remember, this Gohan was kind of underwhelming when he dropped. His transformation was really hard to get. Then they dropped the link level update and it's like, oh, there's Gohan. <laughs> there he is hitting 5 mil pre-transformation, like no problem, right? Um, if you haven't seen it, I did do a video where I ran the... So I think it was my 55% showcase on the new Ink Goku. Um, I ran him with that Gohan because they link really well. And what's so fantastic about that combo is Gohan transformed gets a buff if he's on rotation with the Super Saiyan Goku. So he really, like, they were like friends made in heaven. That That is such a good rotation. And if you can run it, like, in this event here where you're going against androids, um, you can actually transform that Gohan. And I was doing, like, 10 mil plus attack stats with that Gohan. It was pretty wild. All right, what's Goku looking like here? So 334k defense. Once again, absolutely fantastic. Um, attack stats probably going to be, I don't know, 6 mil, 7 mil plus. We got a Dokkan attack here too. Let's see what Goku's looking at here. Let's see what we're looking at for attack. Uh, all right, let's see what the, what he takes here. Probably nothing, right? Yeah, damage reduction, all that defense. Like I don't see this Goku getting hurt in this event. <laughs> it's gonna have to take like God event, GT Goku event, the Vegeta event when that comes out on global. It's gonna take stuff like that to really hurt this guy. Um, I'm definitely gonna run him in the uh, Epic Clash or whatever. Not the Epic Clash, but the the, the one that just updated, right? Where you do like all the mini battles and then you have like the Goku event at the end. So they just came out with the Frieza version of it where it's extreme enemies and you have to run super class. Um, I'm definitely going to be running transforming Goku in there. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, <laughs> there we go. Blasting him away with what like one absolutely gigantic, ridiculous attack stat. Um, we'll get a good look. Let's let Gohan and uh, uh, physical Gogeta here have some fun. I mean, Gohan's going to be putting up a 5 mil plus, no problem. Gogeta is going to be putting up, I don't know, probably 3 to 4 mil. Um, I don't know, these year 3 units though. Like, I could see it not being that far off. Like, I mean, what if, right? Like, 7 year anniversary is movies like people are thinking. Like, Gogeta Broly. Why wouldn't they just, you know, ECA the year 3 units? Like, it's been 4 years at that point, right? They totally could do it. 3 year units during a 7 year anniversary. I actually could see these two, uh the int and the physical year three lrs possibly getting easy a's during the seven year that would be kind of wild right um i don't know there's a part of me that's kind of hopeful like if you guys notice like one of the big things people talk about in dokkan is like that global should catch up to jp and they should get the games linked up and it almost seems like they're kind of doing it at like a slow pace because if you guys have noticed over the last couple of years we have been doing more and more and more joint celebrations like the Saiyan Day celebration that we just did and the, um, uh, what is it? We did like Gohan, Goku, and Goten Day. Like we've been doing like more of those springs. So like the, the GT celebration we did with uh, GT, Goku, and Vegeta, that was the first time we've ever shared that, right? And it seems like they're kind of just adding in more and more things that we're sharing with JP. And it's going to make things interesting in the future, like in those time slots when we normally would have had that content. And it's like, well, now are we just going to do another joint event for Dragon Ball Heroes? And then it's like, are we eventually going to start joining up so much that we can, like, link up? And I would be really hopeful. It would be really hype if we shared, like, a seven-year anniversary together in January. That would be ridiculous. I don't think it's actually going to happen, but that's wishful thinking. So here's Goku. He's down to 300k defense. Once again, that's what happens because the support has dropped off. He's not, like, getting weaker or anything, right? Um, so let's see what his attack looks like here. And this will be a really good look um, because we're going to take a type disadvantage hit here. Yeah, super attack right away. So 300k defense with 25% damage reduction. Yeah, type disadvantage, guys. We just took double digits right there. And this cell does hit hard. He's not like legendary GT Goku event hard, but he hits hard enough that like if you're not prepared, you're taking a couple hundred K from that super attack, right? And we just took type disadvantage, double digits, like no problem. Um... I do think this, I don't know if I want to say the Goku's underrated. I think people can see, like, legitimately, like, how good he is. I know people are going to say for days and days and days that the Frieza looks better. But I could see an argument for liking the Goku, Goku better just based on the fact that you can run him on a lot of these fun Saiyan teams and that that damage reduction is, like, so valuable. Like, that's the big thing that Goku has over the Frieza. The Frieza can stack his defense, right? And he can get ridiculously high. 
but without the damage reduction he can still take damage against some of the harder hitting events in the game but if you have that defense coupled with 25 percent damage reduction like goku has um <laughs> it's a lot harder to take damage because that that'll literally just reduce and cut the damage he takes so i i do really really like that um i'm also looking forward to all the easy a's we have coming up um i'm gonna be easy aing i still have to get my um birder done and i still have to get um jace done as well and then in part three we're going to be looking at int ginyu and i'm thinking in lr ginyu force guys i think it's going to happen i almost think it has to happen there's no reason why they wouldn't eca one of the lrs here's goku with support now back at 346k defense so now we kind of have a predictable pattern here uh let's see if we can one shot cell and let's see if cell can uh super attack us and give us double digits yeah here we go slot one i don't remember if he stuns or anything though let's see come on double digits show me yep double digits right there i mean yeah it's six and a half mil attacks at so i don't know you tell me if 350 to 400k defense with 25 percent damage reduction and a six and a half mil attacks at you tell me if you think that's good um i think that's absolutely ridiculously good and this this goku is a top tier unit um, I could totally see, see like Frieza overshadowing him, but I, I, th I see them as like very much equal. Like they are equals, I would say, um, because Frieza's got the godly link set works so great with the villains. He's just going to have like really great attack and defensive stats the whole way through. Um, Goku does lack in some areas like links, but he, I think he totally makes up for it with the damage reduction. So I feel like they balanced the two fairly well and they did a fantastic job of making uh, them relevant again. The Frieza, and I've said this before in my Frieza video, the Frieza to me was actually relevant before his EZA. I did a Rainbow Level 10 Link showcase on him. He was my first ever uh, showcase I did on my channel, and he was hitting three, three and a half mil attack stats pre-EZA. So I knew this guy was going to hit like a truck after his EZA, uh, and that's mainly due to his fabulous Link set, right? So, all right, we got one more phase here. This will be our last turn with Goku. Um, this is going to be another really good type disadvantage turn. So once again, with all those attacks up front, I would love to take a super attack and I would love to see double digits right here. So Goku, yeah, 335k defense, 25% damage reduction. Let's see how he handles this final phase of this infinite Dragon Ball history against a tech cell type disadvantage. Uh, come on, super attack me. All right, so it's going to come after the super attack, which is good for us. 6.3 but goku now is just stacked defense so now he's probably pushing 400k defense uh with 25 percent damage reduction uh give me a super come on cell don't be afraid all right we didn't get the super so here's this goku at 1.6 that's actually kind of impressive for him but uh he's just one of the old dated units so he's one of the units that came out in the day where units just released with like 100 percent attack passive and like that's all they had right <laughs> so that's when they are all kind of generic and the same so anyways uh, i think we'll end the video there uh let me know what you think of this transforming goku i absolutely love them they did a great job uh thanks for watching we'll catch you all in the next one